Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be revealing my big announcement. I'm going to be working on some Etsy orders and while I'm working on some orders, I'm going to be answering a bunch of Q&As that you guys asked me. So I'm going to be answering some of your questions. Alright, so I don't even know where to begin. It's been quite... Oh, it's been about a week since I posted my last video. I've been busy with orders. Um, and I've been trying to clean out my craft room. I'm trying to purge a lot of fabric and things that I'm no longer using. I'm trying to just declutter everything because if you have a messy home, you have a messy mind and you're not as productive when you have clutter everywhere. So I'm trying to declutter. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of fabric. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, definitely go join my Facebook group because I'm just giving away a lot of fabric. So if you want some fabric, just go join my Facebook group and keep a lookout for um, not a giveaway, but I am giving away a bunch of fabric. So if you want to try and snag some for free, go join my Facebook group. Um, I'll be doing another random post probably in the next few days because I have a lot of fabric I need to get rid of. So before we jump in on cutting fabric for some orders, I kind of want to give you guys a little mini tour of my craft room. It's not finished at all. It's still a little messy. Um, but it's a work in progress and it's much better than it has been. So if you guys have seen clips of what my craft room has looked like, you guys know it's a disaster. But it's getting there. So let me show you guys what I've been working on because this has been consuming like my life right now. So um, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. All right, so when you walk into my craft room, as you can see, it's not very big at all. I don't have a lot of room to work with. Um, so I have a lot of my wholesale minky that I use for my baby blankets. I'm trying to list more items because most of my baby blankets that I have only use white minky. So I listed some new baby blankets that include uh, the lavender minky, the navy minky, and the pink minky. Um, I also use a lot of gray minky as well. So I need to think of some projects that I could do for this black minky and for this baby blue minky and some more projects for this um, light pink. So this is still a work in progress, this area. Um, I have all my onesies that I use for all my HTV shirts. Um, down here is some more fabric scraps that I need to go through. So this bin is just full of minky fabric, which I'm going to go through and purge a lot of that. So if you were in need of some minky scraps, you could use it for um, quilts. And they're not big enough for baby blankets, but you can make little, what are they called, plushies? So... If you're in need of some minky, keep a lookout. Definitely go join my Facebook group because I am going to be purging a lot of that fabric. Um, I have some of the fabric that I sell on bolts. And then I have all my baby blanket fabric on bolts as well. Um, I try and get a lot of my fabric wholesale because I like to be able to have a, a decent profit margin. Um, so I try and buy in bulk as much as I can. Um, so I have a lot of my fabrics. This one's like my most popular print. So uh, when Joann's does like it's big coupons and you can get uh, flannel fabric for like $2.99 a yard. I try and just stock up as much as I can. So I have two big bolts of that fabric and just a bunch of other prints. I have... A bunch that I need to like make samples of. I have this cute cactus fabric that I've had forever. I have like this really cute bee fabric. I have there's one that I'm really looking forward to making. My monster trucks fabric or baby blankets is like one of my popular ones so I want to kind of do like a, a big rig. <laughs> I have a really cute applique design that will go good with this blanket so this I need to hurry up and add to my shop. Um, what else? I have this cute C one. I have this space one. I'm probably going to use the black minky fabric and do like a cool space themed one. Um, I have this. This is another popular print for me is this, um, this dinosaur print. I got a couple other 
Dinosaur prints too because dinosaurs and my monster trucks are like my big sellers so I'm trying to like add more dinosaur stuff because obviously that's like one of my big sellers and I was watching Simply Sally's video on how to like get more sales and how to have like popular items selling in your shop and she was going into detail and I'll make sure and like link her video down below she was going into detail on how to you know if you have one type of popular item try and make more of the same popular item so if dinosaurs are selling for me I'm gonna add some more dinosaur stuff so I have some dinosaur stuff I have this has been a big seller I actually have a few orders for some bell bottoms in this print and then I have a bunch of other like knit fabrics that I'm gonna be using for baby not baby blankets for um, for some bell bottoms so I need to get on that I have a few outfits already planned for these they've been hiding away hidden and when you clean your craft room you're like oh crap I have a lot of fabric that I forgot that I had so I have a bunch of new bell bottom ideas that I have planned these are all like my scrap pieces that won't fit on a bolt but um, I'm still using because I can still make some things with these scraps um, I still need to organize this shelf and this shelf too all this down there all this still needs to get organized but I'm selling fat quarters for a dollar on my website so help me out help me get rid of this stuff go check out my website I have it linked down below um, let me see I have my cutting table my sewing table slash cutting table I need to upgrade and get a bigger table maybe hopefully my husband if I can convince him to build me a new one because I have this cutting mat that I bought a few months ago um, and it doesn't fit this table so I am in desperate need of a new cutting mat and I don't want to buy one this cutting mat has like cracks in it so it's like I'll put a new blade on and it only lasts like a few cuts because the board just wrecks the blade so I need a new cutting mat I don't want to buy one though because I have this one um, so hopefully I can convince my husband to build me a new one and then I can move this one to another room because I'm slowly taking over my boys' room too for storage so maybe I can move this into there so I can use this for like a packaging table or something like that I don't know I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do with that um, over here I have all my t-shirts that I use for Nita and Thread tees um, so I have these bins I need to get like I'm thinking maybe three more I could fit three more up there for some shirts here I have all my AJ blanks or my blanks that I use for embroidery um, I have some more onesies and some tanks that I need to find a home for so I need to um, find a slot for that but I was watching a, another youtuber she is she moved and had to redo her whole craft room so she like organized all her fabric and literally her video was like an hour long so I just watched her video while I did all this but I was able to get most of my fabric rolled up onto the what are they called um, comic book boards and they're just like tiny little mini bolts so I have all my fabric right here I have bell bottoms oops I want to get like a little hanging rack so I can have all my bell bottoms hanging because I like to have my bell bottoms because I could always add new shirts to match the bell bottoms so um, I like to keep them and have them hang hung up so whenever I need to take a new product photo I'll have the bell bottoms already made and ready to go I have a bunch of outfits planned for this one all these I still need to like list and get up onto my Etsy shop especially these citrus ones because you know summer you want to make sure and get your summary things up I should have all of them up already but I just have been so busy um, over here I just went and bought these yesterday at Lowe's they're the same bins as these ones I got these all at Lowe's but I bought four more yesterday because I needed a spot for all my blanks that I use for HTV shirts for my kid for kids shirts so I have a bin for the white ones black gray and then navy down there so I have all my HTV blanks over there there's a quick little 
update on my room. It's been a struggle trying to, you know, get to this room because I literally don't have time to clean. Um, it's hard trying to find time to do other things besides work and taking care of kids. So I literally got caught up to orders to where I didn't have to send out any orders for a few days. So I just spent the last few days just cleaning and purging and I still have a ton more to do, but if I feel so much better now in this room, I am more motivated now to come in here and like work on things. I'm, I'm planning on going live too a lot more because now I can come in here, be separate away from the kids because I have a two and a one year old. So just try and imagine trying to go live with two toddlers. It's just, it's impossible. So I have this room cleaned now, which makes me feel more motivated to like start live streaming again. Um, so I'll be able to live stream in here now because it's quiet and I'll have my own like separate little space. Uh, I have some orders I need to start prepping and cutting. Um, so let me go ahead and clear off my table. I have a big pack or big stack. I have a big stack of scrap fabrics that I need to find a new home for. So again, like I said, if you need some fabric to do appliques, if you do quilting, things like that, go join my Facebook group because I have this big pile that I need to find a new home for and I need, I need it to go somewhere. So go join my Facebook group <laughs> so I can find a home for this fabric. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and clear this table off and let's start cutting some fabric.
I'm all done cutting the fabric. So now I figured I can go ahead and answer a few questions. It's 11.20, so I have to, I'm only gonna answer a few for right now because I really need to get started on those orders. But um, I'm gonna read some of the questions from Facebook. Uh, Monica asked, what brand embroidery thread do you use? Currently, I'm using a variety. I haven't kind of stuck with one type of thread yet just because I have so much thread. I'm just trying to get through all the threads that I have. But I have a variety of Sulky that I've gotten from Joann's. I also use Madeira thread. And then I also, when I first started embroidering, I got... Um, uh, a big bundle off Amazon that had a bunch of different threads and I believe I have that listed down below in my description so if you guys want to check that out definitely go look check that out um, it's a great starter pack if you are starting embroidery um, when did you start your business and why embroidery so I started my Etsy business back in 2018 but I didn't start my Nita and thread fabric shop business um, until probably I want to say March of 2019 um, and then I started selling fabric on my Etsy shop and that did pretty well um, and it wasn't until the end of 2019 my mom's very very nice friend gifted me a used embroidery machine it was probably about 20 years old uh, and she gave me her machine and I was looking on Etsy or not Etsy I was looking on YouTube for a bunch of different tutorials and that was when I fell upon one of Angela Jasmina's um, embroidery videos she had a, a, a video on how to embroider a baby blanket so I watched that and I was instantly hooked when I first started my Etsy in 2018 I was mostly selling like burp cloths um, baby blankets and quilts just things I could sew with my um, sewing machine and then I fell upon Angela Jasmina's um, how to embroider a baby blanket video when I got the embroider machine basically that's how I like really dove into my Etsy shop and then in 2020 when the whole pandemic thing happened I started selling face masks on Etsy and I was working like crazy so originally I started with just burp cloths baby blankets and then I got into embroidery and then here I am now um, and I 2019 too I was selling fabric so just a variety of things so my next question Alejandra asks I do know you started from the very basic I know you have worked really hard how many hours total were you working back then at the beginning and how many hours since you own three single needle machines so when I originally originally started back in 2018 I wasn't I probably put one hour a week, if that, into working on items. Um, it wasn't until 2019, near the end of the 2019, I was working maybe like two hours a day, if that. Um, and then when the pandemic happened and I was making a ton, a ton of masks, that's when I really was working. I was working like 12 to 14 hours a day, strictly just sewing masks. And I must say, I do not miss that not one bit um, I do miss the money the money was great but I do not miss sewing masks all day long it's not my passion um, and now that I currently have three embroidery machines I'm probably working just like on embroidery stuff I would say probably four hours a day um, sewing I probably do one to two hours a day t-shirts I probably do an hour a day and then social media YouTube I do that basically all day long so so even though I have more machines um, I've actually gotten a lot busier and I'm still working the same amount of crazy hours so and she also asked also were you able to increase production yes I was able to uh, increase my production so I'm able to sell more items but I'm not having to work literally all day long because I am able to put out more baby blankets more embroidered items um, I'd probably say I work less now on embroidery because I have more machines, but because I'm working less on that, I'm putting that extra time into other things. Um, so I just work a lot. I work all day on top of taking t t care of two toddlers. So I'm stretched pretty thin. Um, can you tell us a random fact about yourself? Natasha, thank you for that question. So a random fact about me that you guys probably want to expect is... I love to paintball. I um, haven't gone paintballing in three years. 
but once the kids are a little older I hope to get back into that because it's great exercise and a lot of fun and yeah so I like to paintball and I also like to play sims um, I don't get time to play sims as much as I would like I haven't played sims probably in about two years but I like playing video games too so yeah <laughs> Yvonne she asked do you ever feel overwhelmed with everything and how do you cope with it yes yes and yes I feel extremely overwhelmed I mean, especially these last few weeks my mental health hasn't been all that great because I am spreading myself pretty thin I am doing a lot um, I don't really take very many breaks so yeah I feel overwhelmed and with coping with it um, right now what I'm trying to do to help cope with like my anxiety from working so much and like depression and things like that I'm trying to one get better sleep I'm trying to get on a better sleep schedule um, and then I also want to start working out more I used to love love working out but because I've been so busy I've been not taking very good care of myself so right now I definitely want to start working out more and just getting better sleep and with those two things that helps me a lot to be able to cope with managing everything because I like to work a lot. I like to, I like working. When I was in, back in college, I went to college full time and I worked full time. I kind of just like that busy, hectic schedule because it just, it keeps me occupied and I have to be occupied at all times. So I like to just, I like to keep myself busy. Do your sons have an interest or express interest in learning about your business? Um, not yet. They're kind of too young for that, but I do see Jackson. He does like to watch me so. Um, so I'm hoping hopefully he will be into sewing one day um, and then he loves YouTube he loves watching YouTube and he thinks it's pretty cool that um, he can see my face on the big screen so. um, if you didn't have a YouTube how would you promote and brand yourself um, definitely running ads on Etsy Pinterest if I could run ads on Facebook and Instagram I would they banned me for absolutely no freaking reason and so I'm not allowed to run ads on Facebook and Instagram, which is bullcrap, but um, if I didn't have YouTube, I would use Pinterest. Do you get nervous to do YouTube videos? Um, actually, no. I don't get nervous. I kind of actually like doing it. It's just talking to a camera. I feel like I get more nervous going live. Doing lives is where I get my, my nerves all out of hand. Jeanette says, how do you plan and prepare meals for your family around your business and work hours? So I try and plan out quick, fast, easy meals. And um, I always try and pull out like meat, like frozen meat the night before so it's defrosted by lunchtime so I could cook lunch and then dinner. Um, I'm not, not going to lie, we do eat out quite a bit just because I am busy a lot of the time. So um, I eat more fast food than I would like, which I need to get better at, you know, meal prepping and doing things like that because that'll also help with my mental health if I'm eating healthy too. So um, when do you clean your house? never <laughs> I it's hard it's really hard trying to run a business in your home and I take care of two kids too at the same time so a lot of times in my videos you guys will see like random stuff on the ground and a little bit of clutter here and there because it is really hard trying to manage it all and with two little ones like literally I'll clean and they will be right behind me undoing everything and making huge messes so when I do clean it's usually right before I go to bed or as soon as I wake up before the kids I will try and clean as much as I can before they wake up but it's like I'm not currently at this time in my life I'm not gonna stress about having like a spotless perfect home because in all reality like I don't got time for that so you know making sure that I make money and put food on the table is more important to me than having a spotless home so as long as I'm not living in filth I'm okay with a little clutter and a little mess here and there because literally there's nothing I can do about it. It's, you know, I have to, I have to work. So, um, my house isn't as clean as I like, but you know, I just try and clean when I can. Also, if my kids go to my mom's house or to their aunt's house, I try and clean when they're not around because it's impossible to clean with them. How many stabilizers did you try before you found the right one you liked? Um, I didn't really test much I just googled what kind of stabilizer to use with what product and basically that's what I have done so Liz as my nickname Nigel she wants to know the backstory for that um, basically my name Nigel comes from the show the nanny 
back in the 90s, uh, and there was a butler called Nigel, and my mom thought it was funny because I was like her little maid. I always had to clean and do all that kind of stuff, so she thought it would be a good nickname for me to call me Nigel because Nigel is a butler. <laughs> How long did you teach before starting your own business? So I started teaching back in 2014, and I started my business in 2018, so I was teaching for about four years before I started my business, and good news is um, I am extending my leave for teaching, so I'm not going back next year because I still want to stay home with my kids, so currently for the last almost three years I've been home taking care of my kids and to help kind of supplement some money I've been just focusing on Etsy and now YouTube. Do you use your kitchen as your craft room? Where do you cook? So I have like three rooms in this home. I have this room that I'm currently in right now. This holds all my like supplies. Um, I have all my machines in my kitchen um, and then I have my boys' room where I also have some more supplies in there. So I work in the kitchen, yes. Um, I do cook in there too, but my kitchen's the biggest room in this house. And my house is really small, but my kitchen is huge. Um, so I'm able to cook and still work in there too. I have, it's pretty separated pretty much. Um, what inspired you to craft and sell items? Um, I just love crafting. It's been a hobby of mine since I was a little kid. I just love working with my hands. It's really hard for me to stay focused on things. So whenever I'm able to like work with my work with my hands, it's it really helps me like stay focused because I my mind goes a mile a minute. So crafting kind of just helps me just focus on something and helps me relax. Michelle asks, if you were to start all over again, knowing what you know now, would you do something different for crafting? For your crafting business um no actually well yes and no so i love where my business is going and i'm very happy and satisfied with that but if i before i started my business i wish i would have did a lot more research on how to be compliant selling kids clothing and kids items because there's a whole lot of things you have to make sure that you're compliant with because if you're not you can get in big trouble so currently right now i'm trying to get compliant with my baby blankets and children's clothing. Um, I, I ordered tags for my clothes and tags for my blankets um, just so I'm compliant with everything. So I wish I would have done a lot more research with that because now I'm like feeling really overwhelmed with everything. Um, trying to make sure that I get all that taken care of. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause right here because it is almost 12 o'clock and the post office closes at two today because it's Saturday. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause right here and get back to work.
Okay guys, so I just went to the post office and I dropped off two packages. I still have a bunch of orders that I still have to do, but those don't go out for a few days, but I'm gonna get those all out on Monday. So I have a graduation party that I have to go to in about two hours. So I'm just gonna chat with you guys, kind of relax, go to that party, and then I'll finish all those orders tonight because I actually wanna take off all of Sunday to edit this video and get it up for you guys. So Sunday I won't work on any orders and I'll send out those orders on Monday. But let's go ahead and let's get back to these questions. Um, where was I? So you are, you are gonna hear my kids being wild and crazy in the background because it's their nap time and they're just being wild and crazy. Shell asks, how close are you getting that Melco? Well, I'm not close at all. And the main reason why I'm not close to getting that Melco is because I decided to take what money I did have saved and decided to purchase a different multi-needle. So that's the big surprise. Most of you guys kind of guessed it because I'm going to be giving Liz um, the Coffee Powered Home. I'm going to leave her YouTube linked um, down below and you can see her picture right here. But go follow her because I'm gonna be giving her my PE770 and she's gonna start doing some embroidery stuff. So if you wanna see some cool embroidery things, definitely go ahead and subscribe to her channel. I'll have that linked down below for you guys. But I'm gonna be giving her my PE770 because I bought a different multi-needle. I still wanna get a Melco that is something that I'm striving for and that's a goal of mine. But currently right now it's out of our means and I don't want to take out any loans or anything like that I don't want a monthly payment because of just having that stress hovering over me of like oh I gotta make these amount of sales and make sure that I could pay this bill so we decided that we didn't want any like monthly payments we didn't have enough for the Melco quite yet and so we decided on getting a buy embroidery machine I know that's probably a big shock to a lot of you guys but I have purchased many things off Alibaba before I'm kind of used to purchasing things off Alibaba um, so you know it wasn't that hard for me to be able to go ahead and purchase it through that platform it was pretty pretty easy for the most part purchasing the machine and um, doing all that stuff I purchased it I want to say at the end of April at the end of April. I still haven't received it yet, obviously. Um, it's tech, It's actually a few days delayed, which I'm not surprised because all the ports right now in California, and I'm not sure about the other ports too, I'm, I'm assuming the same thing, but all the ports are backed up. So anything that's coming from like other countries, like China, they're kind of just sitting on ships right now at the ports and they're not able to unload them. So I actually have a big humongous order of fabric that I ordered at the end of April as well and I still haven't received it. Usually I get my fabric within like six weeks and it's almost been two months. So my machine and my fabric are just sitting on whatever ships out there right now. So I'm currently waiting for my machine to get delivered but it will arrive in LA and um, I live in Northern California, so it won't be that big of a distance um, for the transportation company to move my machine from there to my driveway. So, um, so I'm not surprised about there being a wait. It does suck um, that I have to wait longer, but once it gets here and a company picks it up, it's I'm so close to the port, like I'll get it within a few days once it arrives here. So. I'm just being patient. Um, I'm trying to learn as much as I can about this machine because um, with this machine, you don't have like, like when you buy a Melco or if you buy a Ricoma, you have that um, technical support, I guess. They don't really have that here. So anything that goes wrong with the machine, um, you'll have to fix it yourself, which for me and my husband, my husband is extremely handy. He's really good at figuring things out and learning how to fix things. So. If anything, hopefully nothing goes wrong with the machine, but if anything goes wrong with the machine or it needs to be fixed, my husband, he is pretty amazing um, at fixing things. So um, I'm not really worried about that aspect. They do have tutorials on YouTube um, 
that kind of show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the machine so they don't have like in-person training or anything like Melco does um, or online training I guess but the customer service is amazing so anytime you have a question about the machine or are having issues um, their customer service is amazing they're willing to answer any questions that you have regarding the machine they will do video calls like um, to help walk you through if you're having trouble with like your machine they'll they'll do a video call with you and like walk you through it and try and problem solve and fix whatever issue it is um, so I thought that was pretty cool um, I'm trying to think what else but yeah I'm getting a multi needle guys this is crazy to me um, we do I do plan on adding a bunch of new different things to my shop um, and that multi needle is going to help me do it. So I'm excited because I'm going to be able to produce more, produce faster things, um, have an easier time doing shirts. And we're going to be doing some other things on this multi needle that I can't do on my PE 800 or on my Flourish 2. So I'm excited about adding new things to my shop that are completely different. Um, I'm going to wait to tell you guys though. Once we get the machine, I'll announce what new items we're adding to our shop. But I'm excited. Uh, I know I know purchasing from Alibaba is not everyone's cup of tea. Um, it's not for everyone. This machine isn't for everyone. If you're an extreme and newbie, I do not recommend getting one of these machines. I recommend having some type of background in embroidery. Um, but it is definitely going to be a big learning curve for me um, and for my husband because he doesn't really he knows a lot about embroidery, but he doesn't know the application. And, and doing the embroidery part so I don't know what else to say except I'm excited and I want my machine to hurry up and get here um, if you have any questions about the machine you can join my Facebook group um, I'll have my sales rep whoever you know, the person who helped me purchase the machine um, he's part of my group so um, his name's Stefan or Steven actually and um, I'll tag him in a post so you guys know who he is and if you have any questions um, feel free to message him and ask him any questions about the machine he's extremely helpful um, even when the machine is was arriving late like Eric's been messaging him a lot asking for updates and he's been giving them to us he's been telling us that you know it's gonna be an extra 10 days it's actually gonna be an extra two days now so uh, hopefully he doesn't tell us that it's gonna be even longer but if he does, or if that does end up happening, I'm completely understand, or I completely understand why it's taking so long, um, because this is like, I have multiple items that are taking forever to get to me from China, so, yeah, um, anyways, that's the big announcement, I'm getting a multi-needle, 15 needles to be exact, um, I don't even know what I'm going to do with 15 needles, because I don't even know. I don't even know I'm just I'm excited but I'm excited to also be doing a lot of tutorials for you guys when that machine comes I am still gonna be doing um, tutorials with my p800 and my baby lock flourish too because I still am gonna be using those a lot I'm thinking I'm gonna save those two machines for my baby blankets and any shirts that I have to do I want to try and do most of my shirts on the the multi-needle because it'll be faster and I won't have to constantly switch threads and stuff like that um, and babysit the machine um, when I do baby blankets I don't have to like cover over the machine as much so I'll keep those two little machines for baby blankets and I'll use my big boy for t-shirts how do you come up with ideas for listings so for me I look at trends what's trending right now so right now dinosaurs trending um, watermelon themed stuff is trending donut theme stuff is trending farm theme is trending so anything that's trending I try and think of items that I can make for that theme and just kind of go with that um, I kind of look at you know what type of fashion too that's going on right now in 90s early 2000s fashion is really in right now so that's one reason why I think my bell bottoms are doing so well it's just because that type of fashions in so I just look on Pinterest to help get me ideas look on Etsy to help get you ideas um, but definitely make it yours definitely make it unique and just add your own little touch to it but I get most of my ideas for listings based on like what's trending right now um, how do you figure your pricing um, 
I basically kind of do what Cindy Moncada does. She just did a whole really good video on like breaking down like how to charge for your items. She did a well explained video. I don't think I could explain that any better. Like, I can't explain it better than her. So I'll leave her video linked down below. And basically that's what I do. I just kind of factor in the cost of materials, factor in my time and how much I want to get paid for, factor in any overhead that you have and yeah. And then kind of compare your items prices compared to other items that are similar to yours and their prices and try to not lowball yourself but be competitive basically. Do you prefer embroidery over HTV or sublimation? So I kind of like doing them both. Um, HTV for me is easier. I have less mess ups. Um, than with embroidery because sometimes my machine will act up or things will happen when it comes to embroidery because you're putting all your trust and finishing an item on a machine versus doing it yourself so I would say I would prefer HTV over embroidery but I love to sew more than anything so I can sew and do embroidery at the same time so uh, I don't know. I like I, I like doing it all. How does your pet product sell? Um, compared to my other items, my pet products are probably my least selling items. Um, but that's because I haven't put any effort into doing the items. Um, I definitely need to add more dog bandanas to my Etsy shop and I have a bu bunch of other different things planned. I just have to wait to get a better sewing machine because my sewing machine that I currently have right now is struggling. I want to get an industrial one. I've been eyeballing an industrial one from Sewing Machines Plus. So once I get this embroidery machine, that's probably, probably going to be my next big purchase is an industrial sewing machine. And once I get that, I plan on adding other items to my shop um, for dogs and hopefully that'll pick up. But compared to my other items, it doesn't sell as well. But again, that's because I don't put any effort into trying to grow that part of my business. What is my best seller on Etsy currently? Right now, my bell bottom outfits are my biggest seller currently, and then my dinosaur blankets are my biggest seller. So, those are my two big things. So, if you can think of like a bunch of donut items or dinosaur items, those are currently selling really good right now. Mm. Do you tire of making it? Yes, some days I get not some days I'm like totally not in the moon to embroider and I just want to do t-shirts some days I'm like oh I have to do t-shirts today and I just really want to sew so yes I do tie get tired of doing like the same things over and over again but the nice thing is I have so many different things in my shop I have embroidered items I have sewn items I have HTV items so having a variety helps helps keep me motivated I guess the only thing is though my top selling items those are the only things that are selling right now. So I have a bunch of donut outfits that I keep making and I love making them, don't get me wrong. I'm so grateful for every single order that I get, but I'm like, can somebody go buy like my roller skating uh, outfits or can someone go buy my, my mermaid outfits? Like I have other outfits, you know, but my donuts are my best sellers right now, um, which sucks too because all this fabric that I'm wait, currently waiting for that's currently stuck on a ship has all my donut fabric and I don't think unless someone orders like a small size I don't think I can fulfill any more orders for donut outfits so so that stresses me out because if I don't have fabric to fulfill my orders I have to take the listing down until I get the fabric I tried ordering some the same fabric from another seller on Etsy and their processing time seven days like I don't get how why it would take you seven days to cut two yards of fabric to ship out to me so if they still haven't shipped it out and it's been about five days so I'm also tempted just to cancel the order but I'm like I, I'm desperate I need the fabric because no one else is selling it or at least that I can find um, that sells that same fabric as me I have a feeling this video is gonna be extremely extremely long but I haven't posted a video in a week, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this really extremely long video. Um, so someone asks, uh, how do I advertise my items? So currently I am doing $10 a day on Etsy, which is keeping me pretty busy. I'm not getting as many orders as I would like or expect 
for doing $10 a day. I'm not doing advertising on all my listings. I'm only doing advertising on like my most popular listings and listings that I want to get popular. So um, I just have maybe like 20, 30 listings at $10 a day. Um, I might lower it. I might increase it. I don't know. But I'm currently I'm getting a good enough amount of sales, but I want more. And I also might have mentioned it earlier in this video, I can't remember, but I am banned, I know, banned from running ads on Facebook and on, et or, and on Instagram because back when the pandemic started um, to try and get some sales on my website, I tried running ads on face masks and apparently that was a big no-no back then to run ads on face masks because they had like this big old thing like, oh, you can't try and sell like health items I guess because of how desperate people were for masks and I'm like Ugh. I really got banned for trying to run ads on freaking face masks and then I also so that's just really frustrating because I know I could grow my business so much more if I was able to run ads on Facebook and Instagram I tried to appeal it but they flat out told me no and for me to basically to stop trying or to stop asking so it's been over a year since I've asked them, maybe I could try asking them again. I don't know, or I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to try and convince them to like let me run ads. Like I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was just trying to run ads to sell face masks. Like makes no sense. Deanna West says, if you didn't have a business nor wasn't a teacher, what is another profession you would want? Um, so I've thought about this. Like I've always, I always knew from a very young age that I wanted to have my own business, but I also knew that I wanted to be a teacher as well because I love, love teaching. Um, so that's a really tough one, but it would, if I were to do something else besides running my business or being a teacher, I would want to be a counselor, um, mostly focusing on children who have gone through trauma, especially with like parents or family members that have suffered from Ad, um, addictions from like alcohol or drugs um, so that's something that I would want to do um, and I'm hoping you know if I can grow my platform big enough that I can somehow s provide help or you know be able to donate money or something like that to just really focusing on like mental health for kids and people and people in general who have gone through traumatic events or just had rough childhoods things like that but I basically just would want to continue working with kids and just helping kids basically and where do I see myself in five years in five years I definitely want to have my own fabric line um, that's probably one of my biggest goals is to have my own fabric line I would love to have a bigger fabric shop um, because I do obviously have an addiction to fabric um, so I would love to have like, a very successful fabric shop um, I would love in the next five years hopefully sooner than later but hopefully in the next five years I'll be able to get a bigger home because I want to be able to continue to run my business from home. I don't want to have to, and I don't want to pay for like a monthly warehouse or something like that. I want to be able to do everything from home. So my goal is to get some property, you know, at least an acre, maybe five acres, maybe 10 acres, um, and have my own warehouse on my property. So I can just continue to work from home. Um, I want to homeschool my kids because I still want to teach. So I kind of just want to teach my own kids. Um, so do homeschooling with my kids, um, and just honestly, just be happy. Like, I don't need a lot of things in life. As long as I, in the next five years, I can have my business where I need it to be so I can continue to stay home with my kids, have my husband be home too with my kids, because life is so incredibly short to not spend it with the people you love. So try not to get emotional about it, but I just... I just want to continue to be able to stay home with my kids because they grow so fast and I want my husband to be able to experience it too like I don't want him to be working all day and come home and barely see his kids I just I want my husband and I to be able to be around our kids as much as much as we can and still be able to live the type of life we want without any financial worries or anything like that so basically a house my big property homeschool my kids 
have a successful fabric line in business and just be happy. Okay, and this is going to be the last question. Um, what do you plan or how do I plan to achieve my business goals? So basically right now I'm focusing on obviously getting that embroidery machine here. So getting that embroidery machine, upgrading my sewing machine, also getting a cover stitch as well. And then with those machines, I'll be able to add a lot of different items to my shop, making sure that I'm compliant too with everything that I have in my shop as well. So um, having those items in my shop, um, getting more embroidery designs uploaded to my website so I have more of like a residual, I can't say that word, word but more of a residual income as well. Um, and just using YouTube and my money that I earn from my business to just continue to invest and invest into my business. We do have another machine that we want to get that's around like five to eight K depending on where we get it and what machine it is. Um, it's going to be another machine we're going to be purchasing from Alibaba, but I'm going to wait to tell you guys that because I'm just going to wait to tell you guys that because that I'm, I'm going to, I have to tease you guys a little bit. So I'm going to save that and tell you guys when we get closer to that but we do have another big machine that will just like completely step our game up when it comes to the things we do now so stay tuned for that hopefully it will get it sooner than later but stay tuned for that but basically just investing our money into more machines more inventory um, and making sure that we're compliant with everything that we're doing so and that's so that's my plan for growing our business so I think that's going to be it for the questions. Um, I know that some of you guys want like a, a beginner's guide to how to start an Etsy. I will try and work on that for you guys. I need to sit down and plan out that video. Um, I also want to do some uh, videos on how to list things and how I list things. So stay tuned for some videos like that. Probably not anytime soon, but maybe in the next month or two I can try and squeeze one of those videos in. I'm trying guys really hard to record more for you guys so I'm hoping now that I have my office cleared out I can do more videos. Um, obviously I could do a ton of work with me's and tutorials but it's just hard with the kids because our home is so small and they're so loud I really don't get time to film without them there. So yeah so I'm trying my best to put out videos for you guys so I hope you understand um, definitely if you haven't I mentioned this already definitely if you haven't already go join my Facebook group you'll be able to chat with me there um, easier um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take a break I'm gonna get ready for this graduation party and then when we get back I'll put the kids to sleep and get started on the rest of those orders so I can enjoy a full Sunday of doing hopefully nothing but I'll probably still end up doing some type of work but I'll see you guys later okay guys I'm actually back I actually am going to in the video here uh, just because I feel like this video is gonna be super super long as it is and I still have a ton of orders that I have to work on and those orders alone are gonna take a long time to do a video on so I think I'll just split up this video. Um, I'll still see you guys tonight, but it'll be in a but it'll be in a second video, I guess. So I'm gonna end this video here, but I am gonna record tonight, so you'll get a video back to back um, that way for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you guys again for just all the support that you guys constantly giving that you constantly give me um, watching my videos liking and doing all that stuff really just it supports me my family and my business tremendously so I wouldn't be growing like I am without you guys so I do appreciate each and every one of you guys um, and I just I hope you guys enjoy this video um, I hope you're excited to see a bunch of buy videos in the future but don't don't worry, I'm still going to be doing single needle videos because I'm still going to be using those machines every day as well. 
but I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to give this video a like. Comment down below if you guys have any guess guesses on what you think I'm going to be adding new to my shop once I get this buy and border machine. Um, so make sure you comment down below and leave me a guess. Make sure to hit that notification button. I know I was looking at my stats last night and I noticed that some of you guys haven't hit that notification bell. So if you haven't already, hit that notification bell. Go join my Facebook group. And I will see you guys later tonight, but in another video. <laughs> Bye.